so hello everyone today we are going to discuss derivation of ilkovic equation actually in most of the books ilkovic equation is given as this is the ilkovic equation that is id equal to 607 times n m raised to power 2 by 3 t raised to power 1 by 6 c d raised to power 1 by 2 it is given as such and it is written what is n n is the number of electrons involved in an electrode reaction or a dox reaction m is the mass of flow of mercury via capillary in milligram per second t is the drop time in seconds how much time the drop is formed and that electrolysis takes place on the particular drop C is the concentration in millimole per liter and capital D is diffusion coefficient in centimeter square per second. But how do this equation comes into picture and how this equation is derived that, that we are going to discuss today through fixed first and second law and Cottrell equation. Actually, Ilkovic equation, what is that? It is the relationship between diffusion current in front of you it is the diffusion current diffusion current and the concentration of the electroactive species electroactive species means the species the ions which are involved in oxidation or reduction means oxidized or reduced form of the species in polarography so this is the equation involved in polarography and you know I told you now only that this equation is based on Cottrell equation and which in turn based on fixed first and second laws of mass transport so let's do it first I give you introduction of polarography polarography is the form of voltammetry only in which Actually, what is voltammetry? It gives information of the analyte ions. Analyte means electroactive ions, which is obtained by measuring the current as a function of the applied potential under condition that promote polarization of the working electrode. Okay? And it is a form of voltammetry where working electrode, that is very important, working electrode is dropping mercury electrode or sometimes static mercury electrode but dropping mercury electrode has its own advantage that's why in most of the cases we use BME that is dropping mercury electrode so wherever working electrode in voltammetry is dropping mercury electrode that is called polarography this is the voltammetric setup now First, we derive the Cottrell equation from fixed first and second law, and then we go to uh, we are going to derive the Ilkovic equation. So, first Cottrell equation. Cottrell equation is the consequence of fixed laws. Fixed first law is what? It means that the number of moles of substance which are diffused is proportional to the concentration gradient. What is concentration gradient? That you all know. That is a change in concentration with the distance that is called concentration gradient so number of moles of substance dn that diffuse across a plane of area capital a per unit time that is proportional to the concentration gradient that is dc by dx in a diffusion field and the constant of proportionality is capital D, which is diffusion coefficient. And its unit is centimeter square per second. So dn by a dt equal to d capital D dc by dx. And what is dc? That is change in concentration. That is change in concentration of analyte in the bulk solution and on the electrode surface. The difference in concentration of an elite in the bulk solution and at the electrode surface and what is dx it is the thickness of that diffusion layer 
right so flow of current that is i across the plane across a plane whose area is capital a right during electrolysis it is given by i equal to dn by a dt into a n f now you know why we write uh, multiply this a n f see this is the number of electroactive species per unit area per unit time right so number of electroactive area electroactive species let us say that this is the electroactive species so when it is reduced it gain n electrons right so n is the number of electrons involved in the reaction then it is coulomb per mole so we get the charge right and a is the area of cross section so this area of the plane when multiplied by this this is the total number of moles of the electroactive species diffused so n f a d dc by dc that is the dc by dx that is current so now this current is actually by the diffusion of the ions that's why this current is actually diffusion current so i is replaced by it okay in the next case n is number of electrons involved in the electro reaction f is faraday a is the area of plane but you know fix first law has some limitations it is limited only for the cases where diffusion layer is constant thickness of the diffusion layer that is constant and conditions are not changing they are stationary then we can use fix first law but you know thickness of the diffusion layer if change with time and concentration is also varying with time and distance then fix second law we have to introduce so we use fix second law then now what is fix second law according to fix second law the rate of change of concentration with respect to time see i write here partial differential why because concentration is changing with time as well as distance so partial differential of concentration with respect to time that is rate of change of concentration with time as a result of diffusion of the substance across the plane it is proportional to differential of the concentration gradient that is second partial differential of c with respect to x and therefore partial differential of c with respect to t is equal to again constant of proportionality is capital t that is diffusion coefficient into second partial differential of c with respect to x now you know in case of dropping mercury electrode because we are talking about polarography so there is dropping mercury electrode you know uh, although it is spherical drop is spherical but at very low thickness when that it uh, means drop is just growing so when thickness is very low in that case linear diffusion can be assumed so because that is very simple so we use linear diffusion and according to linear diffusion partial differential of c with respect to x is equal to concentration of the electroactive species in bulk solution divided by t by t raised to power half that you should remember partial differential of c with respect to x is equal to concentration of the electroactive species divided by d pi t raised to power half t you know that is the drop time in seconds d is diffusion coefficient and pi you know 22 by 7 3.14 so we are see is concentration and concentration in millimole per liter that you also keep in mind it is in millimole per liter of electroactive species in the bulk of the solution t is the drop time in second so if we 
substitute this equation, this equation 4 in equation 2. That is the equation obtained from the Faraday's fx first law. Then this dc by dx is replaced by c by d by t raised to power half. So c n f a t and c divided by d by t raised to power half. d by t raised to power half. Right? So when the say d in numerator there is d in the denominator there is d raised per half so it becomes d raised per half only so n f a d raised per half into c divided by pi t raised per half and i said you earlier that current is actually diffusion current because it is obtained by the diffusion of the electroactive species so it is called diffusion current so i is written as i d and this is called Cottrell equation. So this Cottrell equation is the basis of the Ecobic equation. See, first we see that Cottrell equation from fixed first and second law. Now, next step is to determine the Ecobic equation, to derive the Ecobic equation from the Cottrell equation. Uh, there are so many students who asked me to make a video on it. That's why I am making it. Now, next is, you know, ID, that is the diffusion current. As the time increases, you know, time is inversely proportional to diffusion current. So, as the time increases, obviously, diffusion current decreases. Because of the broadening of the diffusion layer and decrease in the diffusion rate. Because if it takes time to form the drop, complete drop, drop time increases, so diffusion current increases because of broadening of the diffusion layer as well as decrease in the diffusion rate. Now, come to the next part, volume of the mercury drop. That drop is formed, you know, volume is linearly increases with time. So, drop volume at time t because you know drop is spherical so it is 4 by 3 pi rt q rt is the radius of the drop at time t radius of the drop at time t as drop is spherical so volume of the drop is 4 by 3 pi r q pi rt q now mass of the drop so you know mass is actually volume into density so let us take rho is the density so mass of the drop is 4 by 3 pi r t cube into rho rho is the density of the mercury and that is you know value 13.6 gram per centimeter 13.6 gram per centimeter cube okay so if flow rate of the mercury that is weight of mercury which is flowing by a capillary in milligram per second that is small m then mass of the drop at time t it will be mass into time because in per second the weight of the mercury flowing by capillary is small m small m milligram per second so mass of the drop at time t becomes mass into time so in this way you know this 4 by 3 pi r t cube into rho that is also mass of the drop so this is equal to m into t so r t becomes equal to 3 m t upon 4 pi rho raised to power 1 by 3 see this r t cube is equal to 3 m t divided by 4 pi rho 
and therefore rt equal to 3 mt upon 4 pi rho raised to power 1 by 3 cube root of this value. So this is the radius of the mercury drop. Now, so area of the drop at time t, you know area of the drop is 4 pi rt square. So rt is replaced by 3 mt over 4 pi rho raised to power 2, so 2 by 3 it becomes just put the value now 4 and pi is 3.14 into 3 m t 4 pi again 3.14 and density of the mercury it is 13.6 gram per centimeter cube right so because this m is in milligram per second so this is should be in milligram so density of the mercury is 13.6 into 10 raised to power 3 milligram per centimeter cube okay so as m is in milligram per second t is in second rho should be in milligram per centimeter cube that's why i add 13.6 into 10 raised to power 3 so when we solve it it comes out to be 0 0.85 very close to 0 0.85 In some books, it is written as 0 0.8515. As I have calculated, this value comes out to be 0 0.848 something, right? So if we write at 0 0.85 into 10 raised to power minus 2, the area of the drop is 0 0.85 into 10 raised to power minus 2, m raised to power 2 by 3, t raised to power 2 by 3 centimeter square. Now, substituting this equation 8, in equation number 6 that is quadrilateral equation so you know this is the quadrilateral equation this a is the area of the plane so just put the value so n f d raised to power 1 by 2 into c pi t raised to power 1 by 2 just in place of a we write 0 0.85 into 10 minus 2 m raised to power 2 by 3 and t raised to power 2 by 3. So you know mercury drop is continuously growing. So the earlier we have started with the linear diffusion process. So that linear diffusion process is disturbed. Right? So Ilkovic introduced a correction factor 7 by 3. 1 by 2 because we consider earlier that diffusion is linear linear diffusion but now because mercury drop is continuously growing so linear diffusion process is disturbed and that's why Ilkovic introduced the correction factor and that is 7 by 3 raised to power 1 by 2 so just multiply it with the given equation in the equation 9 we multiply it by 7 by 3 raised to power 1 by 2 and you know, one third is 96485 coulomb per mole. Just put the values. So, by these values, when we multiply, it comes closer to 708 and m raised to power 2 by 3. T raised to power 2 by 3 and minus 1 by 2 so it become 1 by 6 t raised for 1 by 6 c this c is coulomb right coulomb per mole this is c is concentration in the mole per liter right and d is diffusion coefficient and this value comes out to win micro ampere why this is in micro ampere that i let you know. So M is in milligram per second. C is in millimole per liter. T is in second. D is in centimeter square per second. ID that is in micro ampere. And this is the maximum value of the current when mercury drops falls. 
so this is the maximum value now average value of the current is 6 by 7 of its maximum value and when we multiply it by 6 by 7 we get this equation that is the Ilkovic equation 607 into n into m raised per 2 by 3 d raised per 1 by 6 into c into d raised per 1 by 2 and this is called Ilkovic equation and diffusion current is proportional to the concentration of the electroactive species or we can say concentration of its reducible ions. This so ID is the diffusion current in micro amperes. N is the number of electrons involved in the electrode reaction. M, what is M? It is a weight of mercury that is flowing via capillary in milligram per second. And time T. T is the drop time in second. C is the concentration of the electroactive species or diffuse reducible ions in millimole per liter and capital E is diffusion coefficient in centimeter square per second. So that's all about this equation and why we use this diffusion current in micro ampere that I let you know. See, so unit of ID in Ilkovic equation is micro ampere. So how do we know? You know, if you see the equation of diffusion current in quartile equation, it is N F A T raised to power half C over pi T raised to power 1 by 2. This was the equation. So in this way, you know, N is the number of electrons involved in the electrode reaction. But F is in Faraday, that is Coulomb. Per mole and A is area in centimeter square and D is diffusion current in centimeter square per second raised per 1 by 2 and what is C? It is millimole per liter and it is divided by pi is dimensionless so T is second so S raised to power 1 by 2. So now, again Coulomb per mole, so centimeter square and centimeter square per second raised to power 1 by 2. So it is centimeter into S raised to power minus 1 by 2, right? Then millimole. So in mole it is 10 raised per minus 3 mole and liter convert liter into centimeter cube. So it is 10 to 3 centimeter cube per second. S raised to power by 2. So now it is Coulomb per mole mole cancel. It becomes centimeter cube and centimeter cube raised to the minus 1 by 2 cancel. So S raised to the minus 1 by 2, S raised to the 1 by 2. So it becomes S minus 1 into 10 raised to the minus 3, 10 raised to the 10 power 3 raised to the power minus 1. So it is 10 raised to the minus 6. So it becomes 10 raised to the minus 6 coulomb per second. And what is coulomb per second? It is ampere because you know Q equal to I into T. So I is Q over T. Means Coulomb per second. So in this way it is micro ampere. So in this way we come to know that diffusion current in a cubic equation is measured in micro ampere. Now come to the area part. Area here R if R T is in centimeter. So area is in centimeter square. Now come to this part, you know, th this we know, M is in milligram per second, flow rate of mercury, T is in second, 4 pi, 3, they are dimensionless, rho in milligram 
per centimeter cube and it is raised to power 2 by 3 okay so second per second cancel milligram milligram cancel so it becomes centimeter cube raised to power 2 by 3 means it is in centimeter square that's it so area is in centimeter square and diffusion current is in micro ampere so that's all about Ilkovic equation. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do like, subscribe and share my channel. God bless you all. Happy learning. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.